It has been said that alcoholics have trouble being part of a choir because they can't get past the do re me me me. Well, this is a story about me. Hello, my name is Mary, and I am an alcoholic. Since high school, drug and alcohol use have always played a big role in my life. One night, when I was almost 50, I found myself all alone, lying on the living room floor in a pool of blood, vomit, urine, in an alcoholic blackout. I had soiled myself, my broken eyeglasses, and a near-empty handle of vodka lay nearby. No longer could I imagine life either with or without drugs and alcohol. At the jumping off place, I came to know loneliness like few people do, and I hoped for the end. It was my dark night of the soul. While staying with a Cherokee family in southern Missouri, I was taken into a sweat lodge where I felt as if I could literally catch on fire from the crushing heat generated by the white hot rocks. I was afraid and cried out in prayer, pleading for relief from the anguish of my alcoholic hell. And I experienced a vision. An eagle appeared to me and looked me deep in the eye. And in that moment, I knew down to my bone marrow that my prayers had been heard. Later, a feather was found near the place where I had been sitting. This drawing was done by me in honor of what I had seen. And in my moments of doubt and human weakness, I always recall that my prayers were answered. Through the grace of a benevolent creator, I recovered and have not had a drink or narcotic drug in more than three years. This photograph with one of my favorite trees is a magnificent example of a classic maple in autumn. The leaves turn shades of glorious gold with hints of burnt orange, burgundy, deep forest green, and chocolate brown. Through its perennial transformation, the tree strengthens my faith and hope. I survive because of its gift of oxygen and in turn I give life back to it. The significance of my connection to the tree reminds me that I am related to all living things. Here I am inside the tree trying to insert myself into its story in order to learn more about it anthropologically. I have come to know the nature of the tree a little better and in the process, I come to meet myself as well. Thank you.